and they are struggling to use new method of teaching on online platform so far what i am able to understand that most of our teachers are using the means such as uh, recording the videos of traditional chalk and dice method or making a ppt and sharing with their students on whatsapp assuming that they will go through it and learning will take place on its own uh this webinar is uh, not only about the use of online platform it is about the pedagogy of teaching mathematics on an online platform and the factual ways to face challenges during the process we'll take this issues these all these issues in two parts this is the first one on immediate professional needs of our mathematics faculty if at any point you are not able to understand something or have any query please do write your queries in the chat box if time allows today we'll uh, take this uh, during the program otherwise we'll combine it and on that basis of those we will take another webinar i think by now you all know about the decorum of attending webinar please keep your mic in mute status follow the instructions of the presenter and write your queries in the chat box now to take this webinar we have with us mrs uh, rashmi kathuria your mentor a senior teacher and in charge of kulachi hansai model school a very prestigious institution uh, of delhi and uh, um you all of you know that she had received national award of best ict teacher in 2006 from then president of india dr abdul kalam and it happened when most of us even didn't know the meaning of ict i remember when she gave this news to this good news to me then i asked rashmi uh, just explain me what is ict and we all are very fortunate to have a mathematics teacher who is an expert in ict also i on behalf of all of you welcome rashmi and invite her to commence this webinar thank you over to rashmi thank you so much rajni bala ma'am uh, you are truly a great leader and uh, we all master trainers have evolved under your guidance and your support we are truly blessed to have you rajni ma'am you have always given us freedom and flexibility to explore each and everything and we uh, like master trainers all of us uh, work like a family and we feel connected whether we meet or we do not meet but we feel connected and we feel that each one of us has something good and we keep sharing in the whatsapp group which you have created and uh, thank you so much for your blessings guidance and we really seek your cooperation at every step because as a teacher i personally feel that there is no fixed method of teaching and learning because the students they are different the demographic is different the resources which each one of has uh, each one of us have they may differ but the passion is constant and uh, the spark for learning and exploring is constant so thank you so much rajni ma'am and uh, giving uh, this opportunity for uh, connecting with the master trainers and today hope we will again connect together and strive for excellence as like dav cae uh, does this uh, previously in an online environment also we would be able to achieve the goals thank you so much rajni ma'am for the opportunity thank you so Definitely now will continue. yes so now i will be presenting on the topic uh, of today and today's webinar is uh, basically on uh, pedagogy of uh, teaching and learning mathematics 
and that too in an online environment. So I would like to ask each one of you, you are like a family member, in a chat box, quickly write down one word. If I say teaching mathematics in an online environment, I can see that 198 people are connected online right now using technology. So minimum of 198 words in the chat box one from each one of you if i say teaching learning of mathematics in an online environment what one word comes to your mind please write down in the chat box that will really help start this particular activity in the online environment so i can quickly go through and read Oh my God, it is challenging. It is new experience. It is effective, passion, innovative, interesting, challenging, playing, fun, innovative, easy, virtual. So many words are popping up. Each and every mind is thinking unique. So 199 people are thinking unique, but are together for a common reason. And what is that reason? Yes, we want to teach mathematics in an online environment with creativity, with innovativeness, and we wish to fulfill each and every aspect which we set in the beginning of the lesson. Interesting, interesting. I can see lots and lots of answers which are coming in the chat box. Uh, my dear friends, uh, uh, in the WhatsApp group, I shared with all of you some presentations uh, those were my initial thoughts on like as a mathematics teacher if we think of uh, teaching and learning in an, an online environment what does it mean so i hope you have watched those videos uh, i will be sharing the links uh, to all of you again also so rajni ma'am if you allow me i can start my presentation Please do so. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So my dear friends, it is about uh, pedagogy of teaching mathematics in an online environment and that too on an online platform. We don't know our classroom is how our classroom is. classroom. Four walls were seen. Blackboard was seen. Someone got a green board, someone got a smart board. Mila. Chalk bhi dikta tha, duster bhi dikta tha, bulletin boards dikte the, colorful kaam dikta tha bachcho ka, bachcho ki awaze sunai deti thi, hum unki saath kuch baat chit karte the, aur hum unki saath jud jate the. Kuch bhi dimag mein hota tha, lekin classroom ke andar jate hi, hum sirf aur sirf bachcho se judte the, aur un koshish karte the. कि जो आज का हमारा एजेंडा है जो आज हमने सोचा है वो मिलकर उसको हम अचीव करें सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स पेडागॉजी बड़ा ही भारी भरकम सा शब्द लगता है बीएड में हमने सुना था इस शब्द के बारे में और आज तक चलता आ रहा है मुझे पढ़ाते हुए 24 साल हो चुके हैं और अभी भी ये शब्द टीचिंग लर्निंग ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स के साथ जुड़ा है Teaching के साथ मुझे लगता है learning शब्द साथ में जुड़ना चाहिए. As a teacher, I feel I am more like a learner than a teacher. If I am a learner, I am able to connect better. I am able to deliver in a better way, and I am able to achieve and accomplish the goals which I set in the beginning. So अब तो बड़ा challenge आ गया. आप लोगों ने भी बहुत सारे लोगों ने लिखा. It is challenging. It is a uh, some innovation has to be required and we are talking about this from past 10 years or past 15 years even in uh, davca i remember when we used to uh, conduct the sessions and the first session was always getting connected uh, rajni ma'am you must remember this uh, i hope you remember this we used to have that session on getting connected and in that particular session we used to aggregate the information about each and every master trainer like you used to give to us uh, your email id your phone num number so that with technology we were able to collect that data 
and get connected 24 cross 7 on an online environment. And because uh, we use WhatsApp for communication, sometimes we have shared with you folders in the Google Drive in which lots and lots of stuff has been provided to each one of you. And uh, in my previous experience, we have been receiving messages from most of the master trainers when they are conducting their online trainings or offline trainings. They are sharing their experiences with all of us. And it energizes each one of us because we are evolving as a better teacher, because we are evolving as a better trainer. And the objective is only one to help the learner who is sitting in the classroom. And now, currently, due to COVID-19, because all of us are suddenly moved into different setups. And I really, really appreciate each and every teacher because with whatever resources, with whatever circumstances, they are able to create their own classroom in their home. So now I am going to share with you something very interesting, uh, and that is about on uh, pedagogy of uh, mathematics. And it says that uh, the word pedagogy, if you try to understand, it is the method and practice of teaching, especially any subject. And for all of us, it is uh, mathematics. This is something common, like we have to teach the subject mathematics. So I personally believe that uh, pedagogy is art and science of teaching along with learning. And we have experienced that in the subject mathematics, whether we are teaching at the primary level or at the middle level or at the secondary level or at the senior secondary level, we have tried to use the approach which is called constructivism. Whatever, like at primary level, the concepts are developed. They are developed for the first time. So the teachers use different strategies for developing of the concept. I really appreciate each and every teacher who is teaching at the primary level, how difficult it is to introduce a particular concept, how they use constructive, creative stories, and they use the objects which are around themselves. And the knowledge which is developed in the mind of the child helps in, now that I am coming to the second stage, which is the middle school level. The development of concept is done at the primary level. And at the middle level, the concepts are enhanced. So whatever knowledge was there at the primary level, the knowledge is getting enhanced. And that is the first step of constructivism. And here we realize that because every child is different, every child is unique. So might be some child has acquired the knowledge of some certain topic and some has not. So as a teacher, we have to again work very hard at the middle school level. And sometimes we have to work on development of the concept using different strategies. Like you use visualization. You give them the objects in their hands and they imagine. And then again, they develop that particular concept. So at the secondary level and the senior secondary level, the entire focus is on enhancement of and building of new concepts. That is new knowledge so that child is able to apply, analyze. And finally, if you see the Bloom's taxonomy, at the end, they are able to construct something new. Like if you see that you all are mathematics teacher and you all have created your own classroom. Nobody has told you that do it this way, but you have selected on the basis of your knowledge and expertise applying your critical thinking and problem solving skills and you have evolved as a better teacher in an online teaching learning environment so pedagogy plays an important role now there are four dimensions of uh, teaching learning of mathematics i will always say and will keep on saying that we need some place for writing 
whether you go to online environment or you change every setup to smart classroom but we want some place for writing whether we write on a board or write in our notebook but we want some space for writing and this is a big challenge when the teachers are joining into online environment they keep asking hum likh kar kaise padhaye so what some of them have tried is some of them have created a setup at home unhone kya kiya hai ghar par ek white board rakha hai apne laptop ko turn karte hain aur uska web camera apne board ki taraf karte hain aur uske upar likhte hain that is one way some jo ki jinko technology ka gyan hai unhone online white boards download kar liye hain to do teen online white boards hain bade popular ho rahe hain aajkal तो वो ऑनलाइन व्हाइट बोर्ड पर लिख कर पढ़ाते हैं डिपेंड्स कि आप लोग किस चीज में कंफर्टेबल है बिकॉज कंफर्ट लेवल ऑफ टीचर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इमोशनल वेलबींग ऑफ टीचर इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट आप लोग स्ट्रेस में नहीं काम कर सकते खुशी से काम कर सकते हैं तो खुशी से कंफर्ट से पीस ऑफ माइंड के साथ जो भी टूल आप यूज करें ऑब्जेक्टिव रहना चाहिए क्लियर जो लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव हमारा है जो हम चाहते हैं कि लर्निंग आउटकम किसी फॉर्म में आए एंड डू नॉट गो इन टू देंसी एनवायरमेंट ऑफ ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन कि उसने यूज किया तो मुझे भी यूज करना है ऐसा नहीं उसमें कोई कॉम्पिटिशन नहीं करना यूज इट इफ यू नीड इट अदरवाइज हैव अ नॉलेज अबाउट इट अगर आपको कभी लगेगा उसका इस्तेमाल करना है तो आप उसका इस्तेमाल करिए ना सेकेंड आस्पेक्ट इज विजुअलाइजेशन That means observation plays an important role. हमें बहुत सारी skills का development करना है जैसे estimation skills है graphing है तो visualization plays an important role. So उस केस में हमें क्या करना है उस केस में भी हमें अपने pedagogy को उस हिसाब से design करना है कि बच्चे observe कर सकें उनमें वो वाली क्षमता आए observation वाली बने क्षमता आए तो उस केस में strategy can be you can open your camera hamesha camera open karne ki zarurat nahi hai you can open your camera show the objects to the children bacche apna camera open karke apni surroundings mein jo kuch hai wo aapke sath interaction kar sakte hain to visualization is important or visualization ke liye there are lots and lots of other tools also aaj main aapko bataungi un tools ke bare mein bhi third is interactivity meaning interaction is very important because we have to help our children to do self exploration so this is another aspect of teaching and learning of mathematics and i know that all of you are aware of uh, open source software which is called geogebra humne bahut koshish ki davca mein bhi humne bahut sari trainings ki about the use of geogebra and now we are happy that pichle do mahine mein बहुत सारे टीचर्स ने प्राइमरी मिडिल सेकेंडरी सीनियर सेकेंडरी लेवल पर जियो जेब्रा एप्लीकेशन को यूज करना शुरू किया है एंड दे आर सेंडिंग मैसेजेस दैट ओ ओ दिस इज रियली गुड अब स्कूल खुल जाएंगे उसके बाद भी हम इसे यूज करेंगे सो जियो जेब्रा इज वन बेसिकली टूल विच हेल्प इन एम्बेडिंग द एलिमेंट ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी self exploration in a math classroom and of course it helps in developing the understanding and knowledge of the children it helps in enhancing critical thinking also so uh, this tool is also very very helpful and the last uh, component which is important in the teaching learning of uh, mathematics is about creation are our students uh, Uh, developing something new or they are just mugging up whatever you are delivering in the classroom so construction of new knowledge uh, is very important so uh, we have to work on this particular aspect also when we are taking up our classes in an online environment so in my presentation today i will be touching upon all these four dimensions of teaching learning of mathematics uh you are aware of this uh, three component model like uh, in mathematics vocabulary is important concepts and processes are important and application that is problem solving is important and we will be 
focusing on each component and how we can enhance the vocabulary develop the concepts and processes and uh, involve our children in uh, taking up application of the particular topic in teaching learning of the subject so the learning modes i know that uh, you have experienced these two learning modes and uh, like there are two types of learning modes first one is uh, synchronous meaning we are in uh, direct contact with each other like right now right now whatever is happening it is in synchronous mode real time we are interacting some of you can speak some of you can share i can also share something and asynchronous meaning using online channels like in synchronous we were interacting with our children in our classroom we are in face to face contact with the children they are talking to us they are meeting they are asking queries and asynchronous learning occurs through online channels we use different mediums for connecting with our children so uh, like in my uh, previous two months i came to notice two prominent uh, you know uh, these platforms where the teachers have uh, created their online setups if like your school institution is ready so your school can uh, go for g suite for education which is free and uh, each teacher and each uh, student will get a uh, an id that will be the school under the school domain uh, the school will set up certain rules and this is completely free of cost and uh, teachers can use all these uh, uh, g suite features for communication collaboration organization of data and engaging the students in a, an online environment like there is a google keep the google meet for like we are having google meet interaction right now then gmail is there drive is there google sheets are there google forms are there jamboard is there and an interesting feature is there is which is called a google classroom where the children can join in and uh, get connected with the teacher 24 cross 7 so similarly some of the schools have taken up this g suite for education and they have created their teaching learning environment and uh, some of the schools have uh, tried this uh, microsoft teams and they are connecting and communicating with the children on that and some of the private schools have some other different platforms and uh, they are using those particular platforms and uh, there are certain uh, schools where teachers are connected with the children using whatsapp but uh, my dear friends we have to think and we have to really create an online design a structure where we can find our students and we can check the performance of each and every student and we should be able to help each and every student so we have to help them guide them nurture them as per their need and for all these things the major challenge which i have heard from many of the teachers is connectivity so internet connectivity plays a crucial role in setting up the peaceful learning collaborative online environments so now i will be sharing with you about the pedagogy tools like you have whiteboards for writings and uh, i have seen that uh, many of the teachers have recorded their videos some of them have recorded the videos using the mobile some of them have recorded the videos using uh, uh, these uh, screen capture tools and then they have provided those videos either on whatsapp or they have uploaded on youtube and lots and lots of creative stuff has taken place and videos has come out to be a one useful pedagogy tool for uh, conducting the online teaching learning process then teachers have created their uh, presentations some of them they call as ppts uh, when they are using on the microsoft platform and some of them call them as google slides when they are working on the google platform so presentations are also handy in providing the content to the children and we all are having the assignments and activities 
in the documents and we are helping our children to provide those particular resources and interestingly a new model has come up where many of the teachers i have seen they have creatively used various online tools for creation of the resources then uh, taking up online assessments then uh, delivering the content so th these six components are used as a pedagogy set of tools now instant whiteboards video lessons geogebra online tools offline activities quizzes assignments mind mapping all have been clubbed together for synchronous and in asynchronous teaching learning so you can see that uh, i have experimented on uh, many of them like uh, it's not just past two months my experience of using technology is more than 15 years so in past 15 years uh, i have shared with the teachers tried and tested things so that they can easily take certain set of tools into their classrooms and they can have uh, some uh, online help also available so that whenever they get they get stuck somewhere they can get responses from the people who are around them. So I am going to share with you an interesting tip like you must create a personal learning network like on Twitter or on LinkedIn or on any other platform like we have our personal learning network on WhatsApp. This group is proving quite fruitful for each one of us because we are sharing and we are asking questions and we are getting responses from each other. So personal learning network, we call it as PLN. So every teacher has this PLN in an online environment. So for assessment, I have listed four tools, Google Quiz, Kahoot, Flipgrid, and Mentimeter. They are quite handy, easy to use. When we are teaching in an online environment, we can easily club them integrate them in our Google Classroom and children really enjoy and when the teacher is ready for breaking the monotony. Fine. And for delivery of the content, you can set up your blog on Blogger. If you wish, you can have your private wiki space or uh, public wiki space and you can have a Google site or you can set up your YouTube channel and have your Google Classroom. So these are some suggestive online te teaching learning tools which you can easily use because all of them do not require any technical knowledge. And my dear friends, always remember by listening, we cannot understand technology until or unless we practice once, twice, thrice, and then see its relevance and importance as per our setup, our set of students, our needs. That is really, really important. Now, in the online teaching learning environment, these tools are quite handy. Uh, you can write down the names of these three tools. I will uh, be demonstrating a little bit of it. And maybe in the next webinar, we will take up certain tools in details that Rajni ma'am will decide. So GeoGebra is one of them. And for mind mapping, free mind is another one. And all both these are open source softwares and free of cost. You don't have to pay any single money. And then there is another one which is called Screencastify. It is a Chrome extension. And you can record five minute videos free of cost. And a one year subscription is around Sola So Rupai. Agar aapko lambe lambe videos banane hai, screen castify karke, to sola so rupay pay kar sakte ho. Aapki choice hai. But I would suggest 5 minute ke video bhoat achche hoote hai. I, mainne kharida nahi hai ye. Mainne bhi isko Chrome extension mein rakha hai. 5-5 minute ke chhote chhote videos record karti ho. Aur bachcho ke saath share karti ho. So this is a quite uh, uh, good tool uh, which is called screen castify. Now, I have done certain experiments in my classroom and uh, I will be sharing with you about an interesting application which is called IP webcam and you can download that application in your mobile and uh, your mobile camera turns into a web camera and when you 
attach your mobile with your laptop then you see what kind of experiment you can do i'm just uh, sharing this video just watch this video Okay, today we are going to learn about uh, three dimensional shape, which is a cuboid. Now you the see that uh, uh, this is uh, my hand, and I am having that object in my hand, and I have kept it under my mobile. And you can see my diary is there. I use my pen and write on it for explaining the processes. That is my board, basically. और मुझे कुछ भी बच्चों को थ्री डायमेंशन या विजुलाइज कराना होता है तो मैं अपने मोबाइल के कैमरे के नीचे उसे रख देती हूँ अब आप इसको जैसे मर्जी पढ़ाइए कुछ भी कोई ऑब्जेक्ट करानी है एक्टिविटी करवानी है सो दिस इज वन एक्सपेरिमेंट विच आई एम ट्राइंग टू शेयर विद यू एंड दिस इज यूजिंग आई पी वेब कैम यू सी दैट ऑन द स्क्रीन ऑन द टॉप यू गेट this uh, particular uh, uh, when you record uh, then you just one uh, code on your mobile and then using that code you open a new browser and then write that uh, ip address we call it as uh, then uh, you can turn your uh, mobile uh, camera into a web camera and uh, you are not paying anything basically you are able to set up your environment another thing is doing live in your classroom using the application which is called geogebra see how i do i will just demonstrate quickly in front of you as you can see that uh, i have already opened the application which i wish to see explore with my students so this one is uh, geogebra and the geogebra application window is open so say for example i wish to do an experiment with them on uh, say uh, polygons so you can use the set of tools which are available say for example i want to do an activity on making a regular polygon fine so i will be choosing the tools one by one and doing the experiment on this particular platform and uh, children can also participate and communicate so if i write it here okay i have to make regular polygon having four sides so you you can see that polygon will appear this is a square and you can study about properties of the square i don't want this background just uh, right click and then you can see that you will be able to remove this particular here here now you see that let me go back here uh, this is a regular polygon tool and i want another polygon of say for example 10 sided polygon so click okay and you see the polygon is appearing and i now wish to bring it down so i can use the move graphics view and uh, scroll down and see how this particular a uh, shape will appear interestingly you will see that visualization plays an important role and you can do lots and lots of creative stuff using this software which is called geogebra now you can uh, file and then if you you wish to work on a new template i don't want to save it it's again like a whiteboard you can remove it or you can minimize it from the screen similarly you can have handy this free mind i share with you about the mind mapping tool so for example i want to discuss with you about the online teaching and learning okay i have already created this uh, mind map so you can see that uh, how interactive it is to use this uh, tool in a particular classroom see online teaching environment online teaching learning teacher what skill set is required first thing is will to learn is required knowledge of content is required if you wish to see increase the size like it is visible on the screen you can do that as well 
it is all in your hand how you wish to use this particular tool learning objectives and learning outcomes are important how we can achieve this we can achieve this by face to face online video conferencing tools or tools which can be integrated online if you wish to expand this talk about google meet microsoft teams zoom webex lots and lots of uh, things are coming up if i wish to add a new node in the classroom i am just clicking on and writing da down here webex fine so now i can go back so tools which can be integrated online online whiteboards online games flipgrid wakelet google classroom then you can show the prepared resources in the form of slides assignments videos google docs it depends on entirely on you how you wish to use a particular tool in the classroom i have just demonstrated it like how mind map integration can be done for interactivity how geogebra can be integrated how online uh, you can demonstrate things so now let us take a tour of the google classroom and we will be doing one uh, interesting uh, stuff so i would like to come back to all of you and uh, would like to hear from you here uh, in the chat box in the chat box are you all ready to go to the google classroom just see 204 people are here so let me see kitne log yes likhte hain jaldi 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 abhi hum sab log ghumne ke liye jayenge google classroom mein aur dekhenge live google classroom create karna kitna aasan hai chutkiyon mein aapke samne abhi create hoga interesting interesting very nice very nice okay 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 so let us let us now go and see how all of you can enter and join in the google classroom so i'm presenting now again my screen okay <clears throat> so i am taking you to yes this is a normal gmail so what you have to do open your gmail and then click on the nine dots and you see here google classroom is written so click on the google classroom and then in the google classroom on the top you see this plus button so click on plus and there are two options join class or create a class so i am now going to create a class check box yes i understand this continue now okay 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 so let me see one interesting name for our a b c a a e mathematics mps master trainers okay section section is a subject subject is mathematics room room is 202 2020 555 fine, fine, fine. and then click on create see how easy it is to create a google classroom what i have done gmail pe nine dots click kiya uske baad google classroom click kiya aur classroom click karne ke baad plus kiya and classroom is ready okay i am giving you some time please note down this code use this code and join the classroom let me see kitni jaldi aap log google classroom join karte hain then i will tell you ki aap log dikhenge kaise google classroom mein as a student so small b 4 small b c b q 3 this is the code for all of you
<clears throat> I'm copying this code and sharing with all of you in the chat window. And you can join in the Google Classroom using that code. You can pin the screen. You can pin the screen of the name Rashmi Kathuria. Then uh, the screen vis will be visible to all of you all the time. OK, so see here in the people section. Let me see. Wow, fantastic. Oh my god, it's mind blowing. Amazing. See, all of you have joined in. Many of you. <clears throat> I wanted such students who are writing on the stream so that I can explain how, when the Google Classroom is created, the teacher has to do certain settings. OK? so. First step is go to the settings box and then scroll down and see here in the stream section, students can post and comment. I don't want my students to post on the stream. So I will be changing the settings. Students can only comment and then save it. So this is the first thing which you have to do when you are setting your Google Classroom. So in the teacher's Google Classroom, four things will be visible. Stream, classwork, people, and grades. Now, how you can invite your students? One way is very simple, that you can share the class code with the children, and children can join in. My dear friends, always remember one thing, which is very, very important. If you are creating your Google Classroom with the normal Gmail account, please tell the students to join in with their normal Gmail account. If the children will try to join in with the G Suite ID, they will not be able to enter the class. So always remember that G Suite ID or account is institutional. Teacher has no control on that. Students have no control on that. It is not the property of a student or a teacher. Every account is property of the school. That is institution. So we have to remember this. And we have to be very careful when we are setting a Google Classroom with using the institutional ID, that is the G Suite ID, only students having G Suite ID of the same institution. That means if I am teaching in Kulachi Hansraj Model School, in my Google Classroom, which I have created using my G Suite ID, I can add only, only students of Kulachi Hansraj. I cannot add any student having normal Gmail account. That is the private, uh, this uh, policy of the school. So you can see that here we are doing the training. And in training, for the training purpose, I am using my normal Gmail ID. So I have created this Google Classroom using normal Gmail ID. And you are able to join in. If I would have created this Google Classroom Using my G Suite ID, I would not have uh, given permission to all of you to join in that classroom because that is not under the uh, privacy and policy of the school. So always remember that school institutional ID is only for creating a space which is safe space between students, parents, and teachers of that organization. That is why we suggest to schools 
that go for G Suite account for education for creating a safe environment. Only and only the school children who are having that ID would be able to join in the Google Classroom. If the teacher will give permission to join in for Google Meet, then only they will be admitted. Otherwise, they will not be allowed to enter. So this is for safety and security purpose. So now you can see that after this uh, N R U Singh Charan Sahu, no one was allowed to write anything on the stream because I have done the settings that no one can write in the stream. So stream is used for the teacher, for the students, when the teacher is writing something for the students in the form of announcement or when the teacher is sharing something, students can comment. OK, children, aaj I class rakhi hai char baje. So some students are writing, Madam, kya char baje ki bajai paanch baje kar le? Char baje aaj humare bhoot sare alag alag programs hai. OK, that kind of interaction comments, wo teacher or bachcho ke beech mein hai. Teacher is making an announcement. Teacher is writing, OK, Google Meet link will be available in the classwork tab five minutes before the class. Go and attend the class. Things like that. Or, uh, dear students, tomorrow we will be doing an activity. So be ready with this kind of material. So those kinds of announcements teacher can make in the stream section. Now coming to second, that is the classwork. So we will be doing one experiment here, my dear friends. Uh, I am just creating a question for all of you. And the question is, what do you think? about teaching mathematics in an online important uh, in an online environment mera ye aap sab se sawal hai aap pe kya vichar hain please share your thoughts and ideas aapke kya thoughts hain aapke kya vichar hain ye hum janna chahte hain and then you see that on the right side, ye ungraded question hai. Koi due date nahi dal rahi mein. Lekin, lekin, lekin. Topic dena zaruri hai. Topic is, I am creating a topic, general activities. Aap sab ke saath jo bhi general activities hongi, that will be here. And here, option is, students can reply to each other. Aap, aap sab aapas mein, Ek dusre ke saath interaction kar sakte hain. And then you see, when I ask this question to all the students, what will happen? In the classwork tab, under the general activities section, ek sawal sabke liye create ho gaya. What do you think about teaching mathematics in an online environment? Or at present, 82 people have joined in this Google Classroom. So they can write down their responses over here. Fine. So now I am taking a tour of my Google Classroom. That how we teach mathematics in the Google Classroom. So I'm coming back uh, here. And this is uh, my G Suite ID. And then I'm going to my classroom. And then you will see, I'm teaching class eight. So I will be taking you to my Google Classroom. So this is class eight, 40 students are there. So nowadays the uh, holidays are there. So children are posting their holidays homework. So now you see that this is the stream for making announcement. Coming back, classwork, organization of the content is very, very important. And for organization, we use topics. Now you see that before the holidays, we have finished four chapters in class eight. 
chapter 1 squares and square roots chapter 2 cubes and cube roots then we did chapter 13 introduction to graphs then we did chapter 14 mensuration and with the children syllabus was shared then a website was created for the students so that uh, parents can also see what is going on in the school what the teacher is teaching so for them website link has been attached over here and then question activities in the form of think and tell has been done so i am now taking you to a tour of one chapter and do, then you will be able to visualize then how the pedagogy is playing an important role what pedagogy has been used by the teacher in an online environment what kinds of tools have been integrated how the learning objectives were achieved how the children were participating and collaborating with the teacher and how the teacher was giving responses to the students so i'm going to demonstrate so you see that ebook was shared with them because uh, many of the students they said madam we are not having the books so it is the duty of the teacher to share the chapter with them so we are not having ncrt in the dav school so we are following the dav books so we have to follow it so for students the dav textbook uh copy was given to them then because in my class only one child was there who was not having the book but still i provided this uh, book to that child because every child is important fine so next we started with a brainstorming activity and that was when the chapter was started which 2d or 3d shape do you see around yourself in the normal classroom when the children were there we used to observe the surroundings of the classroom and we were getting responses from from them and now you see this question was given to them by using the question in the google classroom and one child was absent on that day and 39 children responded and they said what they observed in their home in their surrounding so this is the pedagogy that how you are teaching in the online environment that is important and then we did a warm up activity on testing the previous knowledge related to uh, the particular chapter that in their previous classes they have understanding and knowledge about area perimeter 2d shapes how they find area of those 2d shapes so i created an assignment in the google doc and assigned to them and they participated in it and then topic 1 which is as per their dav textbook uh, which is on area of the trapezium i recorded a video which was recorded while the class was going on so that when children were uh, want to see that particular explanation again so that video is available to them then we did worksheet number 1 some uh, questions which were very tricky we gave the video responses to the children and after that again worksheet 1 uh, this was done this is quite interesting i really would like to share this with you because uh, you can also try this in your classroom i used flipped uh, classroom model like i gave certain videos in advance and I, then i told them that you watch these videos and then after watching the videos solve certain questions so uh, beautifully children they uh, uh watched the videos and attempted the questions in their notebook after watching the videos and in in the next class some of them asked certain queries also and that proved very beneficial in having the creative discussion and then i gave them the assignment you see how the children are posting their work in the assignments so they can attach the solutions of their questions like we assign holidays homework we assign homework we assign activities and tasks similarly in the google classroom the things can be assigned and teachers can do the checking of their notebooks uh, while the task is going on then we did an activity of naming a polygon and here 
the earlier recorded videos proved very very beneficial so i shared with them how we did this activity with the previous to previous year students and they were very happy to see the children in the classroom we got emotional also that day because you know whatever you say human connection plays an important role in developing our mind and heart and uh, we really uh, missed our classroom when we we were doing certain things like we used to do in our classroom and then we did an uh, an activity using geogebra i would really wish to share this document with you because this was done on uh, real time like i created this uh, google document and because i was having the uh, email ids of my students so i created this space roll number wise roll number 1 2 3 4 up to 40 and then i asked them that to use the geogebra and uh, write down the name of the polygon uh, which is having number of sides equal to your roll number plus 2 because you know that when you see one so one roll number will say ma'am there is no polygon so i said okay 1 plus 2 3 begin with 3 and uh, they were asked to make a regular polygon uh, on uh, geogebra fine so uh, they uh, did this activity and then uh, uh, when they did this activity in the google doc you will see that how beautifully they have uh, created uh, uh, these uh, regular polygons and they learned the names also and gradually when the number of sides was increasing now you see how the polygon is looking just imagine how a polygon is looking it is we say that uh, this is uh, like uh, closed figure bounded by line segments now you see how it is looking every child was ma'am it is like a circle it is like a circle you see this so this all has been done by students and it is possible and while the class uh, during the 40 minutes class and then uh, i shared with them uh, recorded lessons videos did activity on making of 2d 3d shapes then we did a uh, discussion on worksheet number 2 that is volume and surface area then we did self exploratory activities playing with the unit cubes using online tools very interestingly we used illumination online tool for uh, doing this activity then again videos were shared with them lots and lots of videos and all of them were recorded using that screen castify 5 5 minute ke videos and then uh, we did an activity on comparison of csa and tsa when we roll a paper same rectangular sheet of paper length wise or uh, breadth wise and then kahoot quiz was done in the end with the children so this is how you see the entire lesson structure was weaved and it has evolved i was unaware of uh, this particular thing that how it will look like but uh, after you know i observed the children and uh, checked their learning outcomes i was quite happy and satisfied because children children were able to do everything which was desired from them so this is the google classroom thing you can see nowadays children are submitting holiday homework task so wow this is interesting only 5 uh, are left 27 have submitted and 8 i have already checked so this is how you can see the status and in the grade section you can uh, quickly have a look of grades who has not submitted who submitted late all activities and assignments i cannot share that with you because this is of students so i am coming back here and now this is 130 now my presentation is done on time okay so so uh, rajni ma'am uh, told me that uh, i have to talk about in general the basic aspects of teaching learning and then i have to share how i am uh, teaching in an online environment using the uh, google classroom and uh, now i would be happy to do an interesting activity with all of you live and that is on mentimeter so you see that uh, i will be taking you to mentimeter 
and would be happy to share uh, with you uh, the how i do that the process okay so let me take you to the website write down here mentimeter.com <clears throat> people are still joining in okay so this is a website for interactive uh, presentations so what you have to do is basically you have to sign up with your email id and then once you are signed up you create a new presentation while the session is on like i am doing right now so this is a session on webinar okay and i am putting the date 21 6 create presentation and then <clears throat> you will see that uh, there is a lot of potential in this particular tool and in the free this uh, environment here in the free model you can make two slides and you can create multiple choice questions scales ranking word cloud lots and lots of things you can do image q and a and then uh, lots of stuff is there i have a presentation on this video on this i'll share about uh, that video in the google classroom okay so let let me now create a word cloud and i want to write a question how was the session session kaisa tha theek hai so you all can write down three words fine so i will be sharing it i will be copying the link see how easy it is aap bachcho ke sath bhi interactive mode mein class mein ye kar sakte hain and then in the chat box i am sharing the link of this mentimeter So here is the link for all of you. Uh, all of you, please. Uh, yes, I have shared the link. Uh, let the link be there so that everyone can access it. I have shared the link in the chat box. Okay. so click on the link and see uh, what will happen in the live situation i will just i have shared the link with all of you okay so here is the screen here okay 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 so just see how it is appearing okay informative wonderful very nice effective creative better learn new things engaged whole time great brainstorming amazing 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 see informative interesting innovative excellent creative these are the words written by many of you you see jo bade bade words dikh rahe hain these are the words which many of you are writing it will keep on expanding and you can you go to www.menti.com and use the code six three eight nine three one or use the link which I have shared with you and I will share this uh, with all of you in the chat box.
it is still going on see like in the classroom you can post a question to the children and tell them aap log answer kaise likhoge one followed by your answer iska matlab ek roll number ka ye answer aaya two followed by your answer three followed by your answer and then you can check how quickly children are responding Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you, Rajni, ma'am. Rajni, ma'am, are you there? On behalf of all the master trainers, uh, I, Mrs. Roman Dhawan. um appreciate uh, that rashmi kathuria ma'am you have amazingly uh, you know enlightened us with all this um, uh, information and, uh, and we feel that we, feel we, that are, we are, are more capable, more capable. And, uh, and we'll be more effective in our classroom teaching online and uh, thank you so much for the guidance Thank you so much, Roman, ma'am. Coming from you is a delight. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love to be a student of you. Anybody. You are, you are a great I... mentor, Roman, ma'am. You have played a great role in my evolving as a teacher. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I can be. Lot. I love to be a student also sometimes. And, It means a uh, lot, you know, Roman, ma'am. <laughs> I really appreciate your work, Rashmi. It's great. very good and thank you rajni bala ma'am so for much. organizing so uh, this uh, uh, webinar for everyone we all are grateful thank you thank you it has been wonderful thank you rashmi ma'am thank you very much it was very informative Thank you, Rashmi Mark, ma'am. It was very interesting and very innovative. Thank you, Rashmi, ma'am. Thank It's you, ma'am. Okay. We learn from you, ma'am. Thank you, Rashmi, ma'am. Then we are teaching our students. We are also learning. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Rashmi, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank you, ma'am.
the labels as well as paper patterns uh, just just uh, see our website dav dava website uh, in case there is something new we always put it on the screen and if it is not there i'll just find it out what they have done and uh, definitely we will do a webinar regarding that if there is change there are changes in that and um, yeah. friends i would like to share with you that on the website of dav cae hmm? in the resource center we have uploaded a lot of material subject wise which is downloadable it includes a lot of ppts and assignments wow. selected from best of our school and also wow. prepared by the faculty dav cae koi nahi dekhta and friends uh, yeah, and friends and friends we are also working on the resource center of dav cae so as to make it accessible to each and every teacher to get quality material and also to provide a teaching platform to all of you in a i uh, think in a week or so and we will start asking the uh, quality material from the teachers and you people also and uh, i tell you during uh, lockdown we as faculty dvca got an opportunity to learn many new things under the guidance of uh, madam uh, nisha pashin our director to benefit us uh, teachers community we all show our gratitude to her and uh, now on behalf of uh, all of us i want to particularly uh, thank rashmi for sharing her time and expertise today and also for her commitment to make each one of us confident and knowledgeable by sharing her resources at the end thank you very much for joining us and please fill up the feedback form that is mandatory for each of you to fill up thank you very much thank you rashmi ma'am thank you rajni ma'am for such webinars thank you dear thank you see you again thank you ma'am 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 thank you so much ma'am thank you 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 very much thank you dear thank you thank you everybody Thank you. Thank you very much. We are going to have webinars for the market today. Thank you so much, ma'am. Where is feedback? Feedback on. Hello. Am I audible?